The legendary glam metal band Motley Crue has released many albums over the last 40 years, from enormous successes such as the album Shout at the Devil, Girls, 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 and their crown jewel, Dr. Feelgood, which peaked at number one on the Billboard's Top 100 list. However, the band has also had many failed albums, such as their album Generation Swine and their self-titled album Motley Crue. The band has been involved in recent controversy surrounding the departure of their longtime guitarist, Mick Mars. When Mars announced his retirement from touring with Motley Crue, he maintained that he would remain a member of the band, with John Five taking his place on the road. However, this did not happen. As in early April 2023, Mars filed a lawsuit against Crew in Los Angeles County Superior Court, claiming that after his announcement, the rest of Crew tried to remove him as a significant stakeholder in the group's corporation. This legal rock and roll drama aside, many fans leave the question in the air how Motley Crue's new music will sound without Mars and instead with replacement guitarist John Five. Many Motley Crue fans are split on the two sides, either in support of John Five and the new Motley Crue, or in support of Mick Mars in condemning the new Motley Crue. Well, it looks like Crue fans will soon find out how new music with John Five will sound, as Motley Crue announced recently they will be releasing brand new music this year with their new guitarist, John Five. Breaking the news to the public, Motley Crue's drummer, Tommy Lee, recently interviewed with Desert Sun about how he feels about Crue recording new music without longtime guitar player Mick Mars. And to say Lee doesn't miss Mick Mars is an understatement. Tommy Lee explained in the interview, quote, For those Jones in for some new Crue, people are going to bug out. John Five is playing on it. The guitar work is incredible and it sounds sick. While showing the utmost confidence in John Five, Tommy Lee notably makes no mention of recently departed Mick Mars. And we think that speaks volumes about how Motley Crue has no regards about Mars leaving and John Five taking his place. Tommy Lee also revealed the new music Motley Crue is working on is not an actual full scale album, just standalone songs. While this may disappoint some Crue fans, it is also questionable how original this new music will be without Mick Mars. As in the interview, Tommy Lee revealed the band will be releasing a cover of the Beastie Boys hit song, You Gotta Fight For Your Right To Party. Another interesting thing about the new Motley Crue music is how little they are involving John Five in the planning process. As he recently revealed, he is in the back seat when it comes to the planning of the songs. John Five explained to reporters, quote, Who knows what's going to happen? I don't know if we'll just release singles or an album. It's up to those guys, so I don't know. We just record and see what happens. But these songs that we recorded are so good. They're heavy in the melodies, and everybody's just killing it on these songs. Maybe Motley Crue doesn't trust John Five as much as they trusted Mick Mars, as they appear to not be including him as much in the planning of their new music, as John Five even admitted himself. Lastly, it is notable to mention the last music Motley Crue released without all four of its original members was in 1994, and it was their self titled album Motley Crue. John Karabi had replaced Vince Neil as lead singer after Neil quit the band, and the album was a complete failure and led countless rock fans to rally for Neil's return. This has also been seen very recently with many Crew fans slamming Motley Crue, demanding how they want either Mick Mars to return to the band or the band simply shouldn't make new music. While it is obvious Tommy Lee and Motley Crue do not miss Mick Mars at all, we want to hear your thoughts. Are you excited for the new Motley Crue and their new music coming out this year? Or are you on the side of Mick Mars and would you want to see him back in the band for any future releases? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.